on another episode of today's news tonight. I really don't have an article with this particular video because I just kind of want to talk about the matrix. The first thing I want to say is that it wasn't exactly a dumpster fire <laughs> because even basking in the warmth and the afterglow of a dumpster fire, at least you can keep warm, but it just wasn't that great. But first let's talk a little bit about the stuff that I really liked about the film. I'm actually really glad that they had a lot of familiar faces returning to this fourth installment. I do like that it does pick up a little bit where we left off on the, the third film. I really liked that they brought him back in a very smart way. I really liked the idea that there was an actual city created out of this where, where humans and machines were able to communally live together and to progress things. I also really liked the idea that Neo, because of his absence and because he'd been away for so long, he completely had either forgotten or he had lost his powers in being the one. I also really liked the idea of of the analyst. The problem is all of these well like put together ideas, they just weren't executed well for me. From seeing the different films from the first one to the 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 two sequels which were kind of ran together and then this fourth installment years later, um I feel like it's it's three different universes. Although we have the same characters, it's like the Matrix is is different in each one. Uh, the real world is different in each one and each one kind of has like different characteristics. So it kind of hasn't been very consistent for me. So the fight sequences were not really that great for me. It's like they were trying really, really hard to make it really spectacular and really flashy when really you just needed more like kind of Kung Fu style fight scenes. Another thing that I feel like they were really missing in the Matrix Resurrection is a really good bad guy. They brought back uh, Agent Smith with this new person playing him, not not the person that we, we know and we, we really enjoyed playing Smith. Here's the thing is that if you're gonna have reoccurring characters, they need to be the previous person. Otherwise, people aren't going to accept it as being a part of the universe. Oh, it's just, this could have been such a great film. This really could have been something really spectacular. It really could have rebooted the IP, but I really feel this is not what people are looking for. According to, you know, the, the films from the, the first three is that there's only one, the one. And so it was really interesting how they decided to incorporate Trinity as basically becoming the one in place of Neo. And then at the end, they're like both the one. So I kind of feel like <laughs> consistency was really lost in this film. Um, also, they missed all the, the subtlety, the subtlety of the first film, which was completely lost in this. It was like way over the top, way overacting. The first film was all about subtlety and they lost that in the second and third film. And then they just like completely whitewashed it. Like they're just like, no, we're not going to do any of that kind of stuff from the first film. We're just going to kind of do our own thing. And that's, that's really what it feels like. It looks like Rotten Tomatoes and the audience score are pretty aligned in this. It says it's about 64%. And I think even then that's giving this film uh, a lot of <laughs> a lot of grace here. It, people are just going to say, well, it's not for you. So if you don't want to, don't watch it. Literally, The Matrix, the first film, is one of my favorite films of all time. Definitely in my top five, for sure. So to see this is just real heartbreaking. Overall, I think I'm going to give this film uh, a 55%. But anyways, enough of my ranting and how bad this film is. I hope you did enjoy this video. Hopefully, you've earned your subscription today. So don't forget to hit that red button. Click that down bell so you don't miss any of our content releases and from our family to yours, good night.